Well, thank you for attending the presentation. And we also want to thank Janet for allowing us to have this event. Uh, we really enjoyed it. And uh, we hope that uh, you learned a little bit about what BIM is and the benefits of it. We know we run out of time and this is why we created this short video where we wanted to show you a little bit more specifically uh, the benefits of going from CAD to BIM. So this is uh, Janet's drawing, as you can see here. And what we wanna show you is how to go from this uh, to this. And uh, not just for the sake of having a, uh, a cute model or you know something nice to show, but there are so many benefits that you can get once you have modeled a building using BIM software. Uh, it's going to save you tons of time and it's going to give you a lot of benefits. Uh, we wanted to make it short and so we hope that uh, it's not too rushed. And if, but if you have any question or something that you want to know, just let us know and uh, we can get in touch with you. So as you can see here, this is the imported information uh, from AutoCAD to ARCHICAD. You have your plans, you have your elevations, you have your sections. You also have your layers, which you can turn on and off as you need. Uh, what we did here was uh, we created some combinations that allowed us to go back and forth from uh, first floor to second floor to framing and all that kind of information so we could start uh, tracing on it. This uh, information is completely usable in ARCHICAD. You can copy it, you can edit it, and you can do with it whatever you need to do within it. But uh, we used it obviously for modeling. Now. Uh, to start modeling, one of the things that we needed to figure out was uh, what kind of walls we had. And the interior walls were uh, just simple walls made out of gypsum board frame and gypsum board on the other side. Uh, so that's what we created. For the exterior ones though, it was a little bit more complex. So we had to create a little profile, uh, which is very easy to model. It's just uh, made out of like hatch patterns or fills as they, as they are called in ARCHICAD. Uh, to which you assign the different materials. Like in this case, you have a gypsum board on the inside and then you have the framing and then stucco and then uh, stone on the outside. So those elements reflect in plan, as you can see here. And then when you start drawing, as if you were drawing lines, but it has all the different components, you can see that the intersections claim by themselves. And then when you go through the 3D, uh, you, all those elements are already in the model and um, uh, you can switch back and forth between different styles once you have created them. Uh, like in this case, we're going back to the simple wall or we can also go um, to a wall that has uh, stone uh, on the outside and uh, all that is always going to be reflected on a 3D model uh, showing all the different materials and different components and also it's going to be reflected in plan as well. So we're ready to start modeling. And then we went ahead to set up our story settings uh, to correspond with the projects. And so we set the uh, elevations uh, corresponding to the project. And this allows us to uh, switch between first, second, third floor and the project because that's how you model uh, a building. And then we used uh, the uh, tracing tool to be able to see the different stories. And that's this is a pretty cool tool because you can switch uh, on and off and you can change you know, the different colors and stuff like that. And this allows you to model very easily using the information that you brought from AutoCAD as a reference. So once you have the walls ready, it's just a matter of modeling and it's just like drawing lines, but those are actually uh, walls with the properties we have previously made and then you start inserting the architectural elements uh, windows doors archicad has a huge library of uh, windows doors objects furniture and a lot of stuff that you can use once you have selected the one you want you can go through its properties and customize it as much as you need for your specific project in this case we're going to insert a uh, window here and uh, then we're just going to copy it around. Then uh, to model the shaped beam and the brackets, we used profiles, uh, as in this case you can see here. So um, we just uh, modeled the side uh, brackets and then 
the beam using the profiles already created. As you see here, they represent as structural elements and plan, but they also uh, are already 3D information. Then to create the roof, uh, all you have to do is go to the roof tool, single plane, set inclination point, and there you have it. After that, um, you just want to add uh, the rafters. So you uh, select the um, roof wizard settings where you can add as many uh, elements as you want. In this case, we just went for rafters and then we tweaked it a little bit, subtracting elements that we didn't need uh, for this roof. After that, we went ahead and changed the materials for the objects uh, to be consistent in the project. Now, all we have to do here is add the metal surface to the roof. And that is just uh, one of the many objects already in on the Archicad library. Uh, so it's ready now. Now to model more complex uh, roofs, multi-plane roofs, uh, all we need to do is just uh, to trace the perimeter and Archicad already built the uh, roof according to the different settings that we can configure. All we have to do now is tell the walls that they have to intersect with the roof and they clean up perfectly. To modify these uh, roofs, it's just as easy as dragging points and the geometry adjusts accordingly. So it's very flexible. Now, if we want to model the uh, framing, uh, all we have to do is select the roof and go to the roof wizard settings and adjust uh, all the different color beams and, and all the settings uh, to our specific project and it builds the framing automatically. We can always adjust this framing, tweak it, add or subtract elements as we need. In this case, one of the specific needs was to uh, modify the rafter ends. And so we created a little profile that we apply to the ends uh, as a subtracting element. And all you have to do is model uh, on the edge and tell the rafters that they need to subtract that element from them. Uh, it looks hard, but it's really easy. It's just a simple 2D shape that you store in the project and you can always go ahead and modify. Just like you see here, you modify the profile in 2D and when you update it, every single element where it has been applied, uh, it adjusts to the new changes. And you can always store those profiles and just select between them and you can alternate between them. Now those profiles, you don't even need to draw them. One of the great tools about Archicad is um, that you can bring in PDFs and explode them. And then you can just use the information that you brought in and apply it to your drawing. In this case, we have a crown molding here uh, that we're gonna edit. And we just pasted the information converted into lines from the PDF. These are lines uh, that we can use. So we are gonna modify this profile. Uh, all we have to do is delete the original shape and using the magic wand, just create a new fill pattern and drag it into the place where it's supposed to be. Uh, we assign a new material, so it represents accordingly on the 3D and we store the profile and it changes to the new shape. Now a little recap here, and I just want to clarify, we did not model this thoroughly. The idea was just to have something for the presentation. Uh, even though we spent a little bit over a day making this model, uh, uh, a few hours of that was just trying to understand the project and understand how the layers were set up and configuring them since we did not create the information ourselves. Uh, so in your case, it might take you even uh, shorter than that. Uh, so once we imported the information, we configured everything to use as a reference, and then we prepared to start modeling the wall types, the story settings, and profiles. And after that, we modeled the project. Uh, I, I want to mention here that up to this point, we have not created any 2D information. We have not created any drawing at all. So what we're going to see now is what we can get of the model that we just created, this is where the benefits of BIM start showing, as you will see now. So this is the plan that we modeled, as you can see here, um, the representation of the walls, windows, and everything is uh, as it's supposed to be. And uh, the one of the first benefits that we want to mention is that you can switch different types of visualizations, like this one is presentation, 
and you can go to reflected ceiling to different configurations and all is already available for you to switch back and forth as you need. Another cool tool is the renovation tool which allows you to designate different stages of construction like existent demolition or new uh, element and once you select uh, that specific stage to the element then it's going to represent accordingly depending on the stage that you designate. Uh, this is very useful for uh, creating layouts with different stages. As you can see here, you have a plan with current state, a demolition or project completion and all within the same drawing. Now, as we mentioned before, we did not create any 2D drawing here. Oh, so this elevation comes straight from the model. The information you see here, the hatches, the color and everything is coming from the walls we configure at the beginning. You can switch back and forth between different representations with color, without color, or create different alternatives uh, with different finishes just by changing uh, the uh, different properties of the elements. All these elevations come from the model as well. And uh, if you want to start documenting, if, uh, you can use the information within the objects to for the labels like the finishes, uh, in this case the roof or the uh, walls, uh, or you can just create you know manually labels and start documenting uh, to create your drawings. And you can also navigate the uh, 3D information like uh, general view, different cameras and create renderings. This sketch render took about five minutes to make. Uh, you can also create color renders and blend them. Uh, this is a great way to share information with the project all within uh, Archicad. You don't need any extra software to create uh, renders uh, with great quality. You can also navigate the project as well and this is great to get a sense of space and also to see some issues like in this case the rafters are showing and they're not supposed to. Uh, so it's a great way to find mistakes uh, uh, on the design. Uh, you can also create 3D cutaways uh, and Again, uh, use the information within the objects uh, for documenting or just create your own labels as well. Uh, this information, once you have it, you can add it to your layouts. Um, and you can use new information created within Archicad or you can also use uh, the information you brought from AutoCAD. Like in this case, we have the plan uh, with, uh, from Archicad or the plan from AutoCAD as well. So all the information you already have is completely uh, useful for documenting. You won't get stuck on the transition. Uh, we have here the elevations uh, already in a layout. Uh, we also have the sections here. Now, uh, remember these sections are created straight from the model. We did not do any drawing. It's just as easy as creating a line and the section is generated automatically and then you can just add whatever detail. Uh, schedules come also straight from the model uh, like this window schedule, door schedule. You can create uh, door types lists. They're linked to the model so you can every modification you make on the model reflects also on the schedules. Cool. Now to my favorite part. I just love this app. I'm talking about Bimix. And this is a free app that you can download on your iPad, iPhone, Android device or anything. And it's just a great tool to share your information or just carry your BIM information with you. Uh, I have here some projects that we have downloaded uh, from different customers or demos. Uh, this I'm going to open here the one we created for this presentation. And as you can see here, you have the tree that we created on Archicad and you don't have to share everything. You can control what you want to put here or not. Like in this case, I'm going to open here just the cover sheet. And you have here a list of the drawings included in this uh, file. I'm going to open here the plan and I can stress this enough. All the information you create in AutoCAD is useful. You can bring it into your documentation sets and as you start developing and create it more from BIM, then you can start leaving that information behind. But uh, you can take the transition as slow as you need or as fast as, as you want to. And so this is the AutoCAD drawing that we published along with the uh, other information that we created in Archicad. Uh, and those little blue circles that you see around are hyperlinks to the information. You can access the different sections and elevations through them. Uh, as an example, I'm going to open here uh, this elevation. And you can see here two different elevations. 
one just with lines and the other one with color. Uh, as I mentioned before, we didn't want to add any detail to them. We wanted you to be able to see how clean the information comes straight from the model. So um, you can just swipe between the different layouts published from Archicad. Uh, here we wanted to show you as well that uh, you can make as many 3D details and sections and whatever you want from the model and just label uh, as you need. Uh, we have also published here some of the uh, uh, window legends, uh, schedules, door types, um, room schedule. All information is coming from the model and you can customize it. You can make it as complex as you want to and then you can publish it to the uh, for quantification or any other use. Now we're going to open here uh, perspective and uh, you can customize this splash screen which I think is pretty cool and you can navigate the model freely or you can also go to pre-saved uh, views of the project which I think it's pretty uh, very useful because some customers are not uh, used to be navigating information and they can kind of they can, they can get a little bit dizzy. I will navigate in projects, so I think this is pretty cool. Now, while navigating the objects or the model, uh, you can also access specific information about the architectural elements. Uh, in this case, we can see the information about the door, we can see dimensions, brand, and you can also link the object to uh, manufacturer's website uh, so they can see specs or download uh, maintenance stuff or uh, little things like that. So that's uh, uh, pretty cool as well. And then they can always, of course, navigate the uh, model. We're gonna go through the main entrance here. And as you can see, uh, you can look around and go pretty much everywhere in the project. Uh, this model was not detailed, but uh, you can decorate as much as you want to and they, they look pretty cool. So as you navigate the model, uh, you can see those little icons here and what they are is uh, they, it's linked to the 2D information, but you can also show them on 3D and use them as a cutting plane for your project. Uh, this is very useful so the customer can see the relationship between the drawings and the model. You can also turn them off and navigate the model itself and or change the cutting plane at any point on the project. Uh, so you can understand the project very thoroughly. Uh, this is a very nice way of exploring your model and understanding all the little details about it. You can always disable that and just keep navigating. So we hope that you really enjoyed uh, the presentation and you were able to appreciate the benefits of uh, modeling instead of uh, having 2D drawings. Uh, there is so much more that you can do with Archicad, uh, but that was not the purpose of this presentation. If you would like to know more about thermal analysis and all other features, you can just let us know. Thank you so much and see you soon.